What is going on everybody? Today I wanted to give you a quick look at the Manfrotto Element Traveler Tripod. So this tripod comes in two different versions, a big and a small version. This one's the big version, so this one will go up to 65 inches tall and fold down to about 16 inches tall. The smaller version only goes up to 56 inches. Just like everything else I purchased, I did a lot of research into the competition before deciding on this one. I'll go into that a little bit later, but first let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the Element comes in three different colors, a black, silver, and a blue version. And then all you're going to get inside the box is the tripod in a nice padded Manfrotto bag. Funny enough, the bag is a little bit large for the tripod, so it rolls around a little bit and there's probably six inches of room from the top to the tripod. So you could probably stuff a light jacket or something in there as well. And then in the bag, you're just going to have your tripod as well as some spiked feet for those slippery surfaces. The first thing I noticed when I pulled this out of the bag is that the build quality in this thing is rock solid. I wouldn't necessarily expect any less from Manfrotto. Setting it up is super easy. Each of the independently articulating legs has a nice little spring-loaded latch on the top that lets you know that it's in place. So this particular tripod uses twist lock legs rather than levers. Um, I've actually been using levers for years and I've gotten really, really used to them, but everybody does have their opinion on those. There you go. This is definitely a tall tripod. So let's level this thing out. The first thing, unfortunately, is that there's no bubble level on the lower portion of the tripod. However, there is one on the tripod head. The center column does raise and lower via another twist lock. And then on the actual head, you're going to have two different adjustments. You're going to have a separate adjustment for the ball head. And then you're going to have a separate adjustment for the pan. And then up top you have a standard Arca Swiss type quick release plate on the ball head. And then there's a couple unique little features that the Element offers. So first of all you can actually go inverted with this like Top Gun style. So what you have to do is unscrew the spring loaded hook from the bottom, ditch that, and then you unscrew the top ball head. And then all you do from here is actually just screw it into the bottom. And there you go. This is really useful for doing overhead shots or product demos. The second cool thing about this tripod is that you can actually get really, really low to the ground with this. So each of the legs has actually three different positions that you can go in. So if we put this in the shallowest position, you'll be able to get those really, really low shots with this one. And then the last cool feature, and this was actually one of the deciding factors why I finally decided on this one, is that this can actually convert into a monopod. Converting it is really, really simple. All you do is remove the head from the top of the tripod and then remove the padded leg from the actual tripod. Ditch these two legs and then just simply screw the ball head straight into the monopod, like so. So, like I said earlier, I did a lot of research before deciding on this particular tripod. I only found two other competitors that were close in terms of price and features. Sunpack makes a Travel Light Pro, which I think is a Best Buy exclusive. It's actually only 100 bucks. It's a little bit lighter than this guy, but it does not turn into a monopod. And then the closest competitor in terms of features was the Mifoto Globetrotter. That one's a full $100 more than this one and a pound heavier as well. Both the Globetrotter as well as the Element do have higher load capacities. The Element can hold 17 and a half pounds. The Globetrotter can hold 26 and a half pounds. And then the other difference between the two is that the Element will have three different leg positions, whereas the Globetrotter will only have two. Mifoto does make a carbon version of the Globetrotter, and that compares in weight to the Element. However, that one's $350. Thanks so much for watching this quick first look at the Manfrotto Element Big Traveler. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'll have a full review in the field of this tripod coming soon.